Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will talk about something called as decision boundary with respect to logistic regression. Okay. So what do we mean by decision boundary and how we can arrive at the decision boundary so that we can separate the data points between positive and negative classes. Okay. So let's start. So we have the hypothesis for logistic regression, something like this is theta of x is equal to 1 by 1 plus theta transpose minus x, right? So, this is also called as our sigmoid function, right? Sigmoid function. And how does it look? So, if we just draw it, so it passes as 0 0.5 and doesn't touch at 1, right? So, this is our z, or you can call it as or theta transpose x correct and this will be 0 0 0.5 and 1 right and this will be g of c or sigmoid correct so this is how a sigmoid curve looks like so let's say a general assumption with logistic regression is we set a threshold right so if the hypothesis h theta of x is greater than or equal to 0.5. We predict the data point belonging to class 1. If hypothesis is less than 0.5, we predict data point to be belonging to class 0. Right? So, with this assumption, if you just look at this, if you just look at this graph, when this g of z right or this particular 1 by 1 plus e power minus theta transpose x will be greater than or equal to 0.5. So, when theta transpose x right or z if this is greater than or equal to 0 correct greater than or equal to 0 then g of z will be greater than or equal to 0.5 correct so in other way if theta transpose x or z less than 0 then g of z will be less than 0.5 correct so you can see it here right so if it is greater than 0 g z for theta transpose x our g of z will be either equal to 0 0.5 or greater than 0 0.5 correct but if theta transpose x is less than 0, the value will be, the g of z will be less than 0.5, right? So, that is what I have written here. So, this is based on the assumption and there is assumption uh, and the assumption is, if our hypothesis is greater than or equal to 0.5, we predict it as belonging to 1, otherwise we predict it as belonging to 0, okay? Now, let us say we have a data point like this. So, let us say we have two features okay x1 and x2 okay and based on this we will have our data points okay let us say we have something like this 1 2 3 1 2 3 and this is 0 okay now we want a line which separates these two data points so that our algorithm can predict any given data point with x1 and x2 features whether it belongs to positive class or negative class okay so let's say we have a hypothesis like this h theta of x is equal to g of theta 0 x0 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 2 x2 right because we have two features it is up to theta to x2, right? Now, this is our theta transpose x, correct? Right? Now, let us say we will learn our parameters theta 0, theta 1 and theta 2 by applying gradient descent and we arrive at values something like this theta 0 is minus 3, theta 1 is 1 and theta 2 is 1, okay? So, if this is the case, then according to this formula, the above formula, 
if theta transpose x is greater than or equal to 0, then we predict it as belonging to class 1, correct? So, how we can write that using this hypothesis and with this learnable parameters, learnt parameters, right? So, this is our theta transpose x, right? So, theta transpose x should be greater than or equal to 0 in order to predict our data point to be belonging to class 1, right? So, what is our theta transpose x? It is theta 0 x 0 plus theta 1 x 1 plus theta 2 x 2. Now, we will substitute these learnt values in this hypothesis. So, what will be the case? We know that x 0 is always 1, right? So, minus 3 into 1, it will be minus 3, right? plus 1 into x1, x1, 1 into x2, x2 and we need this to be greater than or equal to 0, correct? Now, if you just move this 3 to the right side, it will be x1 plus x2 must be greater than or equal to 3, right? So, this is our equation that we have arrived after learning the parameters. So, what is this equation? This is an equation of straight line, correct? Equation of straight line. Now, if you plot this, x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 3. In this case, okay, in this particular data set, the straight line will pass through 3 on both the axes, correct? So, this will be the straight line. Now, since we are predicting any given data point, if x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 3, to be belonging to class 1, right? So, we predict any other data points belonging to class 0 is x1 plus x2 is less than 3, correct? So, in this case, if you visualize here, so this x2, so x2, X, x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to 3 will be this particular reason, correct? This particular reason. So, everything beyond this line towards this side will be x1 plus x2 greater than 3, correct? And whatever data point lies in this particular area will be predicted as belonging to class 1, right? Similarly, if x1 plus x2 is less than 3, so it will be this particular area here, right? So, whatever data point lies below this particular line will be predicted as belonging to class 0, right? So, this is how we arrive at a decision boundary for logistic regression in case of binary classification, okay? So, that's it for this video. Hope you guys understood on the decision boundary how we can arrive at a plane or a line separating two different classes, okay? So, this is how it does. And hope you guys have already seen how the parameters are learned and what these parameters represent with respect to logistic regression. If you guys have not seen my video, please go and watch the video on mag, uh, log of force and maximum likelihood so that you will understand what these parameters represent. Okay. So, that's it for this video guys. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me via comment section. Till we see in the next video. Happy learning. Bye-bye.